This is Greater Media News. Welcome to Greater Media News. My name is Mavlo Kache here at Top Stories. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Abdul Rashid Bawa, has been sentenced to Kuja prison over contempt of court. In a ruling delivered by Justice Chizoba Oji of the Federal Capital Territory High Court in Abuja on October 28th and cited by newsmen last week, Tuesday, the EFCC boss was convicted of contempt of court in relation to the failure of the anti graft agency to comply with the November 21, 2018 court order directing its return a Range Rover and the sum of $40 million to the applicant in the suit. The EFCC had refused to comply with the court order directing it to release the seized property. The mother of the Ondo State Governor, Mr. Retimi Akeridolu, was buried on Saturday in our local government area. The late Mrs. Grace Akeridolu died in her sleep on September 15, 2022, at a residence in Ibadan, in the Oyo State capital. It was gathered that there was heavy presence of security personnel in our ahead of the burial ceremony, as many dignitaries from all walks of life attended the ceremony. Adida Ole Oluwajuwon last week emerged the state champion of the Young Nigerian Scientist Presidential Award, Young Spa Competition, beating other competitors from different parts of the state. As a state champion, he will represent Undo State at the national stage of the competition, scheduled to hold in Abuja later this month. A representative at the zonal competition organized by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, Okachimabia, came first last week, triumphing over other competitors from the Akoko Northeast Zone. She'll be participating in the next stage of this competition holding this month. Now on foreign scene, Hush Puppy has been jailed for more than 11 years in the U.S. for a jail in an international fraud syndicate. Hush Puppy, whose real name is Ramon Abbas, was also ordered to pay about $2 million in restitution to two victims. It all came crashing down when he was arrested in Dubai two years ago. Abbas pleaded guilty to money laundering last year, admitting attempting to steal more than $1.1 million from someone who wanted to fund a new children's school in Qatar. He also admitted to have committed several other cyber and business email compromise schemes that cumulatively caused more than $24 million in losses. Still on foreign news, Facebook parent company Meta on Wednesday said it is laying off 11,000 employees, marketing the most significant job cuts in the tech giant's history. The job cuts come as Meta confronts a range of challenges to its core business and makes an uncertain and costly bet on pivoting to the metaverse. In September, Meta had a headcount of more than 87,000 staff. The company is worth around $250 billion. Now let's join Emilia FK in our other city of entertainment and sport news. Hello Emilia, how are you today? Good morning Marvel. I'm very fine, thanks. Now on entertainment scene, to establish a Nigerian singer and songwriter has released a new song titled Loaded. She featured the accomplished Nigerian raving sensation, Ashake, who delivered the scorching verse as expected in this superb rendition. In her most recent release, Jai Foring, she collaborated with Malian music superstar Zinoliski, taking her music to a whole new level. Still on entertainment scene, Nigerian singer Kiss Daniel has been confirmed as one of the headline performing artists at the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. The World Cup organized as FIFA has made a confirmation on Friday as they listed the five official performing artists for the event. Still on entertainment scene. Water. Earth. Fire. Air. A hundred years passed and my brother and I discovered the new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. And although his airbending skills are great, he has a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. But I believe Aang can save the world. Good news for the fans of Avatar, The Last Airbender, an animated movie based on the beloved Nickelodeon series, is on its way to the big screen as Paramount confirmed a release date for the project. The untitled Avatar, The Last Airbender film, will arrive in theaters on October 10, 2025. Paramount also announced an untitled French pop movie set to come out on May 23, 2025. The film will be produced by Nickelodeon Animation and Paramount Animation. Now on spot, the 2022 Qatar World Cup is nearly upon us with the showpiece tournament set to finally get underway this weekend. The tournament will kick off on Sunday, November 20th with the opening game seeing host country Qatar facing Ecuador. 
The group stage will run until Friday, December 2nd, with four games being held each day after the opening two days. The first of the knockout games will then start the following day on Saturday, December 3rd. The final will be held at the 80,000 seater Lucille Laconic Stadium on Sunday, December 18th. That's all from my end. Back to Marvel for the rest of the news. Thank you, Emilia. The true beauty of music is that it connects people. It carries a message and we the musicians are the messengers. With Black Panther, Wakanda Forever released last week. Here's an excellent musical presentation by some of our students in honor of the late Chadwick Bosman. <laughs> make a good impact and be remembered for good deeds. Greater Media Bulletin Volume 7, Number 3 will be out this week. Enjoy our quote of the week, question of the week, cartoon of the week, and many other juicy stories. On behalf of the entire Greater Media crew, I wish you all a lovely week. I still remain Marvel Okache. No press, no information. <laughs>